Hey y'all, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a link tree for your WordPress website using Gutenberg and Elementor. So from your dashboard, you head over to Pages and Add New. And if this is going to be for your Instagram page, we'll put it called Instagram. And on the right hand side, you'll see the URL slug. It's going to also be in, uh, Instagram. Next, we're going to pick a block. This is going to be your heading block. This is going to be your name or business name. Center it. You can also change the color on the right hand side. And then for your next block, we're going to pick paragraph. And here's this is going to be your bio. Uh, what you do and who you work with. I'm going to cent center this also and tap to move to the next line. And for the next block, we're going to choose button. And here we're going to put a uh, call to action. So view my services. And add the link services and on the right hand side go to color settings and change it to any color here or if you have your brand color you can add the hex code here you're going to change it to red oops this is text color we change it to white i mean and the background color we're going to change it to red Uh, then you scroll down to border settings and here we can change the radius so the higher the number the rounder the corners but for now we're going to put it for two and then tap the block to center it and click duplicate and then change the Call to action for here, read my blog, edit the link, that's done, and once again, duplicate, change this to subscribe to YouTube. Change the link to your YouTube channel link. It doesn't go through. YouTube. And then you continue keep on you keep on doing that until you have all your links on this page. I would recommend just five. And this is what it's going to look like uh, once someone clicks the link in bio from your Instagram page. Now, depending on your theme, I'm using Generate Press, so I could remove the header you, s you saw here and the footer from uh, the sidebar here and disable elements. So you go click all the way down. Um, And that's it for Gutenberg. So depending on your theme, if you don't have a way to remove the header or footer, we're going to do this with Elementor. So to get started, and if you don't have Elementor installed, go to Plugins. Add new, search for Elementor, and 
and it should say install now and then activate and once that plugin is activated you hover over pages again and add new From here, edit with Elementor. And for our first step, we're going to change the page layout. So canvas, change it to canvas. This will remove the footer and the header. Then we change the uh, view to mobile. And this is what's going to look like when we, when someone clicks on your Instagram the link in bio from your Instagram page. So our first step will be to add a spacer up top. And this is going to give us a little buffer. Click up top here again. Drag heading. You can edit from here or you can edit from here. So your name or business name center for the next block we're going to choose text editor and add your bio what you do who you work with and under style change the setting to center change the alignment to center And for our next block, we're going to do button. Here, we're going to put our uh, CTA again, call to action. Here my services. Copy and paste. Well, actually, we don't need to copy and paste that. So view my services, center, change the size of the button to medium, under style, you can change the font family, uh, font weight, decoration style from here, we'll, we'll just change the color for now, so the text color should be, could be Text color will change it to change it to and then the background color you can also change the border radius here. And once you're done with that, right click, duplicate, and change the text and the link here. Read my blog. Go to blog. And same thing, duplicate. This one, YouTube channel. And you continue on until you have all your links on this page. Um, this is optional. You can add a picture here. This could be your logo or your profile pic. We'll choose logo. And it 
if your name is in, in the logo, you can change this to your title. Uh, and there you go. Uh, once you're done with that, you can copy that, copy and paste the link to your Instagram bio or Twitter bio. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions below and make sure to like the video if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.